Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another video here on my YouTube with me, Steve. I haven't really been doing a whole lot of videos here on YouTube because I've been busy with work still and some other stuff that's been going on as well. So I figure I'd do like a little video for everybody here. I guess you can call this like a update video or I guess maybe announcement video. I mean, I probably will just entitle it announcement video for March 1st, 2021. So it's certainly been a crazy year. I mean, well, 2020 was a horrible year for one, but now we're in 2021 and things are, in my opinion, like going okay right now. Like, I think like with the, you know, the coronavirus, which is unfortunately still going on, but I don't think it's as bad as it was last year. But um, hopefully, you know, the numbers stay down and everything, you know, gets better. So we still have to wear a mask and all the social distancing and all that. I mean, it's hard to watch game shows like Let's Make a Deal and The Price is Right and everybody like standing like six feet apart from each other. It's It's ridiculous for one. I mean, it's just hard to watch them, but it's good for them, you know, that keep the shows, you know, still going. I mean, I'm watching Let's Make a Deal right now as it is, but, uh, so anyway, now to on some, uh, other things I want to talk about. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm back on an iPhone now. This video that I am doing this, uh, as I have a notification popping up, just looking at something on there. So yeah, I am back on an iPhone once again. I bought it at a place called Micro Center. It's a place that sells like electronic devices and a bunch of other things. You could probably like trade in stuff as well too, and they'll give you cash or store credit for it or whatever. But because I've been working, you know, a lot and I saved up a good amount of money and I wound up buying an iPhone XR, a 64 gigabyte phone for $380. But believe me, it's worth it. You know, I'm just, you know, disappointed I didn't make this decision a while ago. But it's okay. I mean, I was on a Samsung phone, which was all right with me. You know, that was working out good. But then it just started like slowing up and a bunch of other things had happened. But I've always been a fan of iPhone more, even though I posted on my Facebook before, like, what do you prefer more? You know, iPhone or Samsung? And most people, I think, said Samsung. But they're still good phones. But if I want a Samsung phone, it's got to be a Plus or a 5G phone or has and has a lot a lot of gigabytes in it too. It can't be like a 32 gigabyte phone. I do not recommend them kind of phones. And plus, iPhone you know is always a good phone you know as well too. And I also have AirPods. I got these at Micro Center as well. Here's the box to prove it. They're not pros or anything, but these are good enough because these are great in sound and. Here's also the box for the phone as well. As you see, the price was originally $449, but it was only $380, so you're saving like $70, pretty much. And it's also refurbished, came with like a little thing with it, like well, my receipts that just fell out and stuff in here. Actually, this is from Mike, not Micro Center, Metro PCS, that's my carrier. And Metro is pretty good in my opinion. Not like all them other companies that suck you into a contract like Sprint, AT&T, and all that crap. I don't know if T-Mobile does that. I mean, I don't think they do, but I'm really not sure. I've never been on their carrier, but Sprint and AT&T I have. Well, yeah, and you know my opinion. So total came to like over $500 for everything. You know, the phone, which is 380 the AirPods, which were 120 something But yeah, I mean... I did, I think they did have the pros there, but I decided not to go for that. Those are like 200. I mean, and plus I've heard people like say some negative stuff about the pros. I mean, but once again, I think these, you know, are, are pretty much good. I mean, there may be a time one day I might decide to get them, but I don't know yet. Now on to another serious thing. So now for those of you that don't know, I know a lot of you are friends with me on Facebook, but for those of you, for those of you people that are not friends with me, me and Christine are no longer together anymore. And I know a lot of people are probably shocked to hear that, or some people may be happy to hear that, but 
let's just say things weren't really working out pretty well for us. Like I basically was doing my part, you know, by working and all that stuff. And she never did like her, her father and the person that lived there took advantage of me. And every time like I like would have money, like I would spend it like on her and her dad and even that other guy too. Like I would like, you know, pay for things for him. Like I would get groceries for her. That was, you know, that was all right. But then it mostly started turning into like places we were going to like Ollie's and Five Below and many other places. And it just was not working out. I mean, I got really frustrated and, and plus I was seeing another person. I still am. She's a person that works at the store and, you know, she cares about me and just itching my eye a little bit. I mean, I may get a little emotional in this video, but we'll see about it. I mean, but it's a decision I think I had to make, you know, like a couple months ago at least or so, but it was something I needed to do. I didn't want to, and I know she didn't want me to either, but it was something we had to do. You know, it was just something, you know, need to be straight, need to be straightened out. So, but I'm really glad I made this decision. You know, things are a lot different now. I know a lot of people are not happy about us breaking up because, believe me, this is something we've done. This is probably the fifth time that we've done this. I mean, we've had our difficulties over the years, you know, but mostly it was because of me not having a job. That was the tough part. But now that I finally got a job and things, you know, still went downhill with us. And like I said, it was mostly because of her not doing her part either, and that was her working. But I know one day she will get one. I mean, I have faith in her, and I know she will. And we're still friends. You know, we're still talking a little bit, but not very much. And that's another reason like why I've been saving up a lot of money. So, yeah. But I know I haven't really been making a whole lot of videos because usually I do them by open broadcaster. But now that I have an iPhone, I might do it this way. And I've been also purchasing some more NASCAR cars and vinyl records. I'm trying to build my collection back up again. Like, y'all remember when I used to do that, you know, when I would show my vinyl records and my NASCAR cars. I mean, fortunately, I lost a lot of them. Well, it wasn't my fault for losing them. But, yeah. Anyway, but hope everybody's been doing well. You know, I just haven't really been doing a whole lot of videos. You know, I've been just working, and I've been talking, like, to this friend, um, I'm just gonna give, like, a little bit of information, well, her name is Jody, and she's older than me, but there's nothing wrong with that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with, you know, people having, like, a age difference, you know, with people, me and Christine, we're only three years apart, but this woman is more than three years, but it doesn't matter, I mean, as long as you're happy with the person, that's the important thing. But uh, I know Christine you know, told me recently that she's talking to another person, and I'm glad that she is. I mean, I'm you know hoping you know uh, things work out with her and the new person, and I'm sure she's hoping things work out with us as well too. But I know I'm talking you know a lot about her, but uh, apologies about that. So anyway. Yeah, so I've been buying like more vinyl records and NASCAR cars, as I mentioned, just trying to build the collection back up again. I went to Joppa Town recently, the place I would get records at. Some people had some. I mean, in another video, I might do like a vinyl record update for everybody just because uh, I haven't really done it in a while. But yeah, so there you go. So that will be probably coming up pretty soon, like probably after I do this video, and then you'll see the records that I bought. All right, so that's pretty much it. You know, I'm just wanted to like give everybody an update. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up now for this. I hope everybody enjoyed watching, and thanks again for joining in. So as always, if you like this video, hit give it a thumbs up, uh, comment if you like to. No negative stuff. Excuse me. <laughs> And also, uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to, too, because it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. All right, so y'all take care. Thanks again for watching this video, and I'll see y'all later. Y'all take care.